System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. up something. Probes launched. Satellite detected. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Suiting up. See you on the ramp. Hope we're all there ready. Callo. All right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. <laughs> I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. Can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? We didn't come millions of light years to die in a different place. I'm not letting the initiative down. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that.
Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? There. Set us down at this nav point. What are we even supposed to do here? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. How would they know? They didn't have a Pathfinder. Looks like Salvage. New. Days ago, new. Who else is here? getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Main door had power, but not the interior door? Of course. Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Ah! 
I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. This atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we go outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't Ket then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look. I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. This analysis. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he used his clearance to sneak off the station, make some credits on the side. Don't sound so impressed. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. 
too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? You took down all those cat... Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Let's not forget what else happened on Habitat 7. This is powerful alien tech. We need to respect it. Go slow. For sure. We'll follow your lead. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. So if that structure could make a difference here, well, that would be really good. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Well, what do you know? The outpost's research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. 
I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. So shiny. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Another code, like we already found. Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Seriously? You can do that? Normally, it would be impossible. But since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Let's give it a shot. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. It actually worked. Is there audio? Compiling now. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. Not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts.
Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? This is for purifying water. It's huge and crooked. The storms did that? Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation levels normal. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Site 2, Resilience. It was sold as the one we get right, but it didn't have time to get worn down. Got wiped out by Ked. 
We'll deal with the cat. One thing at a time. override works, but... Sam, the door was sealed from the outside? Yes, Pathfinder. It appears lockdown was manual before the power restrictions. Why? Wouldn't keep anything out. It would keep something in. Secondary terminals. No access. Sam? If deployment is standard, main access will be deeper in. Looks like they left in a hurry. Report said the evac was cut off by Ket. Pathfinder, a maintenance bulletin was issued at the time of shutdown. What does it say? Run. We gotta be! Override, close it! Tempest, we have an unknown enemy. Evac the Pathfinder. Whoa, hold on. No go, Harper. We have to lay low. Ket are inbound to your location. Cat and that thing? Son of a... I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image of the past. Maybe we can push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety on your pistol? I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. Well, we know which one they chose. Site 2 failed. Brazilian or not. Looks like a war zone. According to survivors, the cat attacked from all sites. It was a massacre.
this component was security tagged for Site 2. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest. Schematics for Special Project Sigma. They were building something, but there are parts missing. This must be the project they were salvaging at Site 1. A way to fight the cat. We could finish it. All components at Site 2 had security tags, compiling possible nav points. You'd think there'd be more bodies. Not that I'm complaining. Not a lot left behind for a massacre. What if... they were removed? We know the Nexus didn't bother picking up the bodies. You don't think it could have been the cat? Sure as hell hope not. Chief Reynolds died. Soundstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates titular bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. Pathfinder, the scanners picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkum was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light. Pathfinder, active remnant nearby. I suggest investigating. armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located. Enemies!
It's a carcass nest, all right. Fan out. Nice work. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omnitool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. If you power it up, I can exhume its data. Accessing data. The Chief was scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a Ket pulse weapon. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. levels. Radiation levels increasing. Ugh, can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can ex- Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. There, look, up near that scaffolding. It's slippery, but there's a great view! Who'd be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there? Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Okay, let's solve this thing. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Back up. Literally. Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. No, that's okay. 
You're obviously corporeal. Pretty solidly built, actually. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make a little bot! Not bad. My first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as Peavy. Ryder, you've been studying this... Remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. You're sure it'll help Eos? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a little offended by that, Ryder. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Fascinating, huh? Oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too. Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds? <laughs> Do you need to ask? <laughs> a man after my own heart. Follow my nav points, figure out those monoliths, and we can both get some answers. Is PB a typical Asari name? Never heard it in my hunter's days. Oh, you know things? Good for you. I know other things. It's a name. Good enough and short enough. For now. How did you get here? After what happened with the outposts, I didn't expect to run into anyone. I had a ride. I had to fudge the flight plan a little. The Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else. Or let people see how rough it got. Sad. But there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. Is anyone else camped out on Eos? There's the Ket, Clancy Salvagers, and one angry old man. Who do you mean? Let's just say he's here to squish Ket, and doesn't care whose gear he tramples. Well, I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Look out for anything big. Surprised the Nexus still wants an outpost on Eos. You know what they say. Third time's a charm. We'll make this right. Heard 
the attack on resilience was bad, but damn. Initiative's not military. They weren't prepared for it. shuttle ahead. One of ours. I'd know them anywhere. Worth checking, if only to make sure the cat don't get to keep it. Got a component for Site 2's project. sent the first colonists down here, everyone was so excited. After all the shit the Nexus had been through, we finally had something to believe in. Then the reports came back. This time will be different. Yeah, I'm more than ready to believe again. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Remember the early data on EOS back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. Shuffle incoming.
love this squad. Kent, stay sharp. Radiation levels normal. Life support is back online. Do they know over here? Repositioning. We've got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Pretty cool. Huh. Well, yeah, guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. Oh, come on, Drax, stop that. Ventra, what are you doing here? I'm with the Pathfinder. That Pathfinder. A friend of Ventra's, a friend of mine. You can call me Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. 
What are you doing out here? You're not the only one hunting, Cat. Yeah, bet you're mowing down an army with that gear. Nexus know shit about the Cat. They think they're safe. <clears throat> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now, taking out Cat bases, fighting ground troops. Yeah, I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, Drac, we could use someone with your... skills. Tempting as that is, Vetra, I'm a little too old to be carrying humans through a fight. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the Ket keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. All Site 2 components are accounted for. Let's head to Site 2's research station and see what good they do. A field log pathfinder issued to patrolling cat. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. Looks like it isn't filled in yet. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. That did. I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more.
Detecting above normal radiation levels. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Technology on Habitat 7 was messing with the planet? We don't have all the answers yet. Don't expect any from the Nexus. They got a few reports, then the cat showed up. No time to study weird tech. Probably best to focus on the people shooting at you. Spot is shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to heavy cat presence at the nearby remnant structure, but it would be an excellent outpost site. Cat and remnant. Seems you can't find one without the other. So, if we clear the skies, this might be our new home. The site one folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Radiation levels normal.
Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. I detect a high level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To continue, you will need to decrypt it. You'll need to scan for the missing glyphs, Pathfinder. Site one. No one came for her body. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Pavlov, Amira S. And get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If she's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what she started.
door. We're in. Done. The monoliths are online and connected to... something in the lake? This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. Is it just me? Or do cats seem to appear everywhere we find remnant tech? I was just thinking the same thing. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Sometimes on these trips, my mind wanders, and suddenly I'm daydreaming that Kalos is by leading a crazy double life. Seems more in character for you. Radiation within safe level. No. No, this can't be right. All that fanfare for an empty room? There's some secret here. There must be. Do your... Pathfinder thing! Oh, you're good. And I make it look so easy. That's a long way down. Can't tell how far. That can't be air pressure. Electrostatic? Ah, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. I'll let you know. Hey! like a gravity well. But where is it taking us? Embrace the unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like it. 
Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. Look there, do you see that? Might be data. Or bits of it. Not what we're looking for. But worth getting a record. Watch your fingers. There might be traps. I'm not detecting any. I've made that mistake before. I think that gravity well works in reverse, too. Then we have a way out. You're not leaving all... Not until we find those processor controls. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but... Pathfinder, a conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. Got anything? There's element zero threaded through all this tech. Imagine the engineering that would take. I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. Then it must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead, or locked down, like most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. These data pattern things are incredible. If I'm right, each one can hold hundreds of zettabytes. There are whole species who get by with less. Minor corruption did Another gravity well, and that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down here. And we never will, if we miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. It can't be too risky for her with everything turned off, right? This gravity well sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep a note for our sorry friend. And for when we try to explain all this. Well, look at this. No way through. No interface points. Hmm. Sam, note it down for later. Com check. It's... well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. They dug this place through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Whoa. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. An unknown alloy and other materials. The composition resembles Omnigel. Maybe that's the fluid in the conduit. It's dead. Nothing. It's industrial. Part of the construction? Remnant! Careful! Don't fall in that liquid! It burns through your shields! Found that out the hard way.
smugglers. They're hostile. Careful. Remember, they make other remnant. Processor? What is this place? Another aqueduct. This liquid is everywhere. If it really is like Omnigel, that fluid could be what's keeping this place going. We've got company! More remnant! Things down. Keep up the pressure. We're almost through. Hostiles down. Atmosphere processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. Let's not. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Well, isn't going 
going to open up under us. Pretty sure. Focus on the remnant. Do it for emergency power, same as before. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Cheap guard dogs, that's all. Some fabricator probably turns them out by the dozen. With a bite like that? Imagine what they're guarding. All these mysteries. Something big is happening in Andromeda Rider. Something magnificent. Let's find that system lockdown. This device appears defensive in nature. Restored to the gravity well, the conduit leads down. Conduit fluid pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. Barely any dust. How old is this place? Unknown. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? Crap. The conduit sprang a leak. Right over the console. If you try interfacing, you'll burn your hands off. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. It's a wasteland, but maybe they're just hardy. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. If 
this doesn't test fly the jump jets, nothing will. Armor hydraulics compensating. Company! Stop saying fine. Let's just get... Observers coming up at us! down already and this place goes even deeper what's at the bottom let's not find out the hard way yeah. Jump jets. Come to Andromeda, walk on air. Imagine this place full of people. It could fit the whole nexus. This whole platform's resonating with... something. We must be close. No question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. All conduits converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown console.
thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good. What was that... field? I know a trap when I see one. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub before startup? This place is full of surprises. Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Something happened. 
Because we restarted the system? If that light is us, then... All these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? Unless the builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. So far we've seen bots, living plants, atmosphere processors. I once did supply runs for a council team that was seeding some ice planet's atmosphere trying to melt the ice caps. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. Even without the storms, it'll be a struggle for a while. But we can tough it out. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. It changes whole planets. Let's go slow. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. <laughs> 